This problem says to find B, which is the binormal vector, and the torsion for the space curve given right here. So we have the tangential component and we have the normal component. We want to begin by finding the binormal vector. Therefore, we recall that B is equal to the cross product of the tangential vector, the tangential component, and the normal component. So I have written right here the layout of our cross product. Now we just have to calculate i, j, and k. So for i, it would be negative 5 over 13 sine t times 0, which is 0, minus 12 over 13 times negative cosine t, which is positive 12 cosine t over 13. Okay, now. We want to find j, so u minus j. To find j, you do 5 over 13 cosine t times 0, which is 0, minus negative sine t times 12 over 13, which is positive 12 sine t over 13. Okay, now for k. For k, you do 5 over 13 cosine t times negative cosine t, which you get 5 cosine squared t, negative 5 cosine squared t over 13 minus uh, negative sine t times negative 5 over 13 sine t, you get a positive 5 sine squared t over 13. Okay, so now simplify. So i will be equals 12 cosine t plus 13. j will be equals 12 sine t over 13 and k to simplify k you could write it like this 5 over 13 negative 5 over 13 cosine squared t minus 5 over 13 sine squared t so if you factor out negative 5 over 13, you get cosine squared t plus sine squared t. And our trigonometric identity says that cosine squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. So this will be equal to 1. You are left with negative 5 over 13. Therefore, to rewrite this, you could say... 12 cosine t over 13i, a minus times a plus is a minus, plus, no, minus 12 sine t over 13j minus 5 over 13k. This is our binormal vector. And let me just check if this is correct. Yes, this is the correct answer. Now, oops, excuse me. Moving on to the next part of this problem, we need to find the torsion. And to find the torsion, the formula for torsion is This is a symbol for torsion, you call it tau. So the crossed product of V, A, and jerk, okay? Over the magnitude of V cross J. 
a squared. So v is our original function, rt. a is, no, I lied. v is not our original function. v is the velocity, which is the derivative of our original function. a is the second derivative of our original function. And jerk is the third derivative of our original function. So we could also write it like this. The cross product of these values okay over this now let's write our velocity vector acceleration vector and jerk first so Derivative of 5 sine t is 5 cosine t i plus derivative of 5 cosine t is negative 5 sine t j plus derivative of 12t is 12k. Okay, now for our second derivative, derivative of 5 cosine t is negative 5 sine t i plus Derivative of negative 5 sine t is negative 5 cosine t j plus derivative of 12k is 0. Okay. Now, for a third derivative, you have derivative of negative 5 sine t, which is negative 5 cosine t. i plus derivative of negative 5 cosine t, which is a positive 5 sine t, j plus 0k. Now, we can write this into cross product format. So you have five cosine t, you have negative five sine t here, and you have a 12k, 12, just a 12, yeah. Okay, next you have a negative five sine t, you have a negative 5 cosine t, and then you have 0. And last but not least, you have a negative 5 cosine t, uh, 5 sine t, and a 0. Okay, so this is our cross product layout. Now, we want to calculate the determinants. So you have 5 cosine t. This times this minus this times this. So anything times 0 is a 0. So you're left with 0 for this. Okay, minus. Moving on to this part, negative 5 sine t. You have same thing. You'll be multiplying these and these, and anything times zero is zero, so you're left with zero. So you can erase that because you're going to be left with zero. Uh, yeah, you're going to be left with zero. Okay. Now... For your 12, it's negative 5 sine t times 5 sine t, which is negative 25 sine squared t. This minus negative 5 cosine t times negative 5 cosine t, which is a positive 25 cosine squared t. So... With this, you could factor out the 25. Therefore, you do 25, a negative 25, and then sine 2t minus cosine 2t, like this. No, 
it will be a form plus. Excuse me. And we know from our trigonometric identities that sine 2t plus cosine 2t is 1, so this will be 1. You are left with negative 25, okay? So, this, all of this, will be equal to negative 25. And 12 times negative 25, if you plug it into a calculator, 12 times negative 25, you have negative 300. So this would be the cross product of them all. So keep that number in mind, negative 300. Okay, now you want to find this. One second. Remember how the formula for torsion is the cross product of the velocity vector, the acceleration vector, and the jerk over the magnitude of the velocity vector times acceleration vector, which is this squared. Now we're going to find this part. So since I erase <laughs> the acceleration and velocity, we're going to write it again. This is easy. I'm just going to. So find your velocity again. You get 5 cosine t i plus negative 5 sine t j plus 12k and the second derivative you will be doing negative 5 sine t i plus negative 5 cosine t j plus 0k okay so now you're gonna do a cross product of this which We will write above over here. So you have your ijks. However, I'm going to write these values first. So you have 5 cosine t and a negative 5 sine t and a 12k, but you don't write k. So you write 5 sine t and a negative 5 cosine t and a 0 in the bottom. Okay? So this will be your cross product format and you write your i, j, and k. So finding i, anything times 0 is 0 minus 12 times negative 5 cosine t, which 12 times negative 5 is negative 60. So you have a positive 60 cosine t. Okay. Moving on to j. You have 0 times 5 cosine t is 0 minus negative 5 times negative 5, negative 5 sine t times negative 5 sine t, which is 25 sine squared t. Okay. Now, you will have k, which is 12 times negative 5 cosine, no, k would be... 5 cosine t times negative 5 cosine t, which is negative 25 cosine squared t minus negative 5 sine t times negative 5 sine t, which is 25 sine squared t. And as you probably knew already, I made a mistake on this part. So for j, it should be okay so for j it should be this 12 12 times negative 5 negative 60 sine negative 60 which would be a positive 60 sine Okay, now you can 
simplify this. So this would be a 60 cosine t. This would be a 60 sine t. Simplify this, you could factor this out. So you have negative 25 cosine squared t plus sine squared t, which we know is 1. So you're left with 25k. Okay. And then you have 60 cosine t i minus 60 sine t j plus k. All right, so this would be your v cross a, but now you want to find the magnitude squared. So we are almost there. Find the magnitude squared. So because torsion, as I said, is the velocity times oh cross acceleration cross the jerk over magnitude of v time. Okay, so we know that the torsion is equal to the cross product of the velocity acceleration and jerk over magnitude of v cross a squared so we find we found v cross a now we need to find the magnitude of that which if you find the magnitude of this this marker <laughs> is that let me get a new one for you okay so magnitude of this you get 60 cosine t squared plus 60 sine t squared plus 25 okay so factor out the 60 you get 3600 okay cosine t cosine t squared plus 3600 sine t squared plus 25 squared is 625 okay Okay, so now you can factor out 360. So you have 3600, three, 3, I'm sorry. So you have cosine squared t plus sine squared t plus 625. And we all know cosine squared t plus sine squared t is 1. So we have 3600 plus 625. 3600 plus 625 is 4225. Okay, so this would be our cross products of velocity times acceleration squared. Velocity cross acceleration squared. So, and we have this because this is this and this is this. All we need to do is do 300 over 4225. Plug that into a calculator, negative 300 over 4225. You have negative 12 over 169. So this is the torsion for the space of the curve.